Good morning. Here is our view in Grand Forks again. It's looking rather soggy there. We've had several rounds of rain and thunder move through now, quieting down yet again after this latest storm has moved through. And there are other places in the valley experiencing rain and thunder to start off today. And if you're hitting the road this morning, you may be one of those places or one of those folks that has to deal with that. And then that continues on into the day and even into this evening. The potential is there for some rain uh, somewhere in the valley and some thunderstorms as well. So so the folks dealing with it right now, well, we're in the uh, northern valley, especially northwest Minnesota uh, and north or central parts of the valley, too. We've got two storms now uh, that are moving through. They're moving to the northeast. The first one, here's Grand Forks right here. The first one just moved through Grand Forks. It's moving into uh, just west of Thief River Falls here, moving into Marshall County. Another little cell here east of Crookston. And then this storm that is kind of following nearly that same path. So Grand Forks. We're getting a break and you may just get clipped again by this little thunderstorm that started to develop in the wake of the last one. So all moving to the north and east. We'll expand the view, put this into motion here. Uh, and this just continues to affect those areas, especially in northeastern North Dakota. We've got that steady rain going on as well. A little quieter in the south, though there are still some cells there producing some rain. Over the last 12 hours, you see this storm that just blasted through last night, and that's what created that really strong wind. We had reports. Uh, that were quite high, some wind damage as well. Uh, these storm reports trace all the way back into Wyoming and Montana, and then eventually again came our way. And zooming in a little bit more, you can see some wind reports over by Carrington, uh, some storm reports in and around Grand Forks again. And this was from last night. Uh, this particular report comes from the airport in Grand Forks, 77 mile per hour wind gust there. Another one in the Alvarado area, a 79 mile per hour wind gust, and unfortunately there were reports of some tree damage, some uprooted trees uh, in some of those areas here. So it was intense last night. We continue to see some storms this morning. It's all part of a system bringing change to the valley, uh, not just with rain, but also temperatures. Right now, we're still pretty warm. We're mainly in the 60s and 70s here. We've got one area, Langdon, getting down to about 59 degrees at the moment, and that's where we've got the cooler air moving in first and where temperatures will likely be the coolest as we head further into the day today. Here's that wind out of the north or northwest and we'll see those winds get stronger as the day progresses. So here's a look at what to expect. We've got that line of thunderstorms moving eastward, uh, more just kind of hanging around in northeastern North Dakota. By lunchtime, some areas where we're quiet, we may even have some sun shining through some of those clouds and then other places getting some rain and thunder. Temperatures 60s to some 70s. That wind again continuing to be strong out of the north, gusts into the 30s, even higher than that, maybe 40 miles per hour at times. And this is 3 p.m. where I pause the clock. We're watching areas in eastern parts of our viewing area for that potential for some strong uh, thunderstorms developing. And these will continue to kind of evolve as we go through time. So that was 3 p.m. This is 5. You see some cells get a little stronger. That's where we're concerned about that potential for severe weather, the hail, the damaging wind gust possibility here heading into the evening hours. Uh, so that's an area to watch. There will still be rain in other spots and wind too out of the north. And so it's wind driven rain. It's cool air. It's really unpleasant coming up for this afternoon in those areas getting the rain. And then tonight this starts to clear out. And this drives in, unfortunately, some of that wildfire smoke again uh, from Canada. So we're going to be watching out for that uh, in the next 24 plus hours. And we'll talk more about that coming up this morning. Uh, but right now we're looking at cool weather taking over. Temperatures next couple of days, 60s to low 70s. After Thursday morning's cool start in the 40s, we'll see uh, temperatures climbing back up into upper 70s to around 80 degrees a Saturday. And then heading into uh, the week next week, uh, we're talking 70s. So, you know, September got started off with some heat, but mm -hmm. uh, the rest of the first half of this month, kind of getting back to what we would consider to be average temperatures in the 70s for highs. Hello, September. Yeah, yeah we fall now. really need that too if your air conditioner is not working. It's going <laughs> to feel good with this cooler weather. Yeah, and if it is, it could use a break. It was working hard. You know, I had several days yeah. in a row in the 90s. I think we're up to 27 days now this wow. season mm -hmm. of 90 degree temperatures. We'll see if we add another one to the mix here yeah. in the forecast. Okay, thank you, Lisa.